Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Already, when we left off, we were told by Larim, or Larim, I don't fucking know how to pronounce his name, uh, to talk to the janitor here, because uh, he would be able to answer our questions a little more about the planet. Uh, we escaped the Endar Spire, we crash landed here, and uh, now we're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Because the Sith have occupied the planet and have made it so people can't get in or out. So. Hey there, what, what, what were you walking? I just cleaned those floors. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I didn't know. I did not know. Well, all right then, no hard feelings. Oh, that's My good. name's Kadir. Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Mm. Yeah. You look like an off world. Kind of. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Yeah, a little, kind of, yeah, a bit. I want to ask you some questions. I don't questions. know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Well, I appreciate it. Tell me about Terrace. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in the upper city and you'll be fine. You also <laughs> might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to yeah. get a drink and find out what's going on in the upper city. Fair enough. Where is the cantina? Well, just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. Then. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Alright, sounds good to me. Just head south. Uh, I want to ask you something else. I don't know how much I can tell you, but... And he's just going to repeat the same thing he t said earlier. Uh, where can I get some equipment? Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. Kebley Yurt's. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Alrighty. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. Oh, this is just going to repeat the same thing that he said earlier. Uh, jeez. <laughs> Not a lot of variation in those lines. I want to ask you something else. I don't else. know how much I can tell you, but... Well, you're going to be telling me something I've already heard before. I can almost guarantee now. Uh, what do you think of the Sith in this quarantine? Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other Alrighty. folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer All right. to keep to myself, mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who are always on about the cantina to tell with you. you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. Well, I'm sure that they will. I'm sure that they will. I don't know how much I can tell you, but well, you're gonna repeat some of the same lines. I can know that much. Uh, I'll be going now. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. That's fair. I mean, that's more than fair. It probably does not. Hi there. Before the Sith arrived, there was talk of changing Taurus's alien restriction laws, but I guess that probably won't happen now. Oh, so it was eventually going to be changed. And then the Sith took over. Oh, that sucks. The Sith being the super racists they are, of course they wouldn't want to change it. Oh. Oh, no. That sucks for them. I feel so bad for the aliens here. I gotta deal with that bullshit. These stupid, super racist Siths. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Really, I am. It sucks. So much for all y'all. On it. It's open. Oh! Well, hi there! Um. Uh. Don't mind me. I'm just scrounging for things that I can use. Please don't be mad. Please don't hurt me. I have nothing of value here. Look for yourself and see. You had a couple of credits. You had, you had some decent stuff, but I understand. I understand. Oh, man. And the, the, the goofiest part about it is that it doesn't count as, like, Sith points for doing any of this. It doesn't count as that at all. Yes. Or rather, dark side points. I should not say Sith points. But then again, uh, a lot of this game has been known. So, I shouldn't be too ambivalent <laughs> when it comes to uh, 
some of the stuff that's already well known. But anyway, uh huh. Some more credits. Computer spike. Don't hurt me. Just just take what you want. I won't try to stop you. Mm, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Feel like an asshole because I am. Then again, I'm not getting dark side points. So I mean, there's that. It isn't bad until you get dark side points. Until then, it's all justifiable in the game fucking <laughs> logic. I guess. Sure. Salvage droid. Okay, um... Salvage droids are busy scanning and scavenging the remains of this Republic escape pod. Is this our escape pod? Maybe? Mm, I don't know. Hard to know. Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. Alrighty, well then. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Okay. Alright, Karth. What do you want? Yes, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? I want to know some more about you. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. Okay. With all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. Really? The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. Yeah, I mean... You're talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. I mean, at the same time, he seems a little bitter towards the Republic forces for not doing more to help. But I mean, I guess... Eh. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. Them? Do you mean the people of your homeworld? Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense, am I? Not really. I don't really mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Alrighty. Well, I'll do that later. I guess. Since that is an option you have given me. Alright, this was the uh, shop, right? Kebla. Kebla's shop. Kebla Yurt. That's a hell of a name. Hello there. Hi there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Alrighty, sounds supplies? good. My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. Uh, but I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Really? You used to have heavy weapons, ships, and swoop bikes. Uh, I kind of want to know um, why you had all of that. Then again, I guess the ships and swoop bikes. Those ones are kind of self-explanatory. It's the best way to make money, selling that sort of shit. Uh, let me see what you got for sale. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Understandable. I ain't gonna press you on it. All right. Med packs are decently priced. Security spikes. Bonadan alloy heavy suit. That's light armor, and it gets gets higher defensive bonus than the heavy combat, while keeping the same max dexterity bonus. That's actually pretty cool. Bonadan is an emergent. Uh, emerging, rather, not emergence, <laughs> industry, and bleh, I can't fucking talk. <laughs> this is why I don't read the item descriptions, man. It's an emerging industrial society financing their exploration of the galaxy through production of small arms and armor. They favor heavy materials offering solid defense. Who can really blame them? Honestly, that sort of thing's good. Fiber blade. Itchani... Ichani, rather, Ritual Brand. Ichani Fire Dancers use the double-bladed Ritual Brand in a dodging and slicing pattern so graceful it looks more like a dance than combat. I know a thing there. 
but I'm going to keep it to myself. Vibro Swords. Do you have a lot of Vibro Swords? My God. You have a lot of them there. Alrighty. The double bladed sword there. A couple of good things here. Permacrete Detonator. This powerful detonator is extremely complicated. Only someone trained in its use could set and activate it. Hmm. This seems like a quest item. But I don't know what quest it could be used for. Huh. Hmm. Alrighty then. Well, that's a thing. Okay. And this would be the cantina, right? Sith Trooper, yep, Cantina Entrance. Hi there. Hi there, you're not going to recognize me, are you? I mean, you haven't thus far. So, I mean, probably a good thing. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go this way. Alrighty. And in the meantime, I should probably go this way. Check out the stuff on this side of the city. Alrighty. It's a nice little jaunt. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good over there. It doesn't look good at all. Um, Davik says you missed your last payment. Davik doesn't like you missing payments. Here, I I've got 50 credits. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. That's I bullshit. Don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? That's too bad. Davik's gonna want to make an example of you. You're coming with us. No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. You got a good Looks point. Like we got ourselves a witness here. Davik doesn't like witnesses. From the sound of it, Davik doesn't like a lot of things, but he's definitely not going to like what I'm going to do next. Leave this man alone or you'll have to deal with me. Guess we have to teach you to mind your own business. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Uh... <laughs> I could just throw a frag grenade. Uh, but that might hurt the other guy. Uh... Light side points gain! Yay! Ain't that good of me. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Dad. Maybe you should have followed no, your wife's <laughs> advice it's there. Good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Yeah, that's true. You definitely should uh, hide away now. Like, very much now. Um. <laughs> you, 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 this is why my dad's, uh. <laughs> my dad's old advice with relationships is true. A man standing alone in a forest and his wife isn't around to hear him, he's still wrong. You should have followed your wife's advice there, but I'm just saying. Maybe I can help you. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. I do have it, but I'm not sure if I want to give it. I'm going to be the nice guy. Take the credits. You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? Yeah. I I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, You're bud. You're giving him a hundred credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. You better. If I find out that you spent them on gambling or some shit, I'm, I'm coming after you myself. Oh, 50. He had 50 credits himself. And... It's even. It's even. 
it's even. Now I feel less bad. <laughs> now I feel less bad about it. The only reason I felt bad was because I had a feeling that it was going to come and bite me in the ass later when I needed the credits. But the game gave me the credits back via their bodies. So it works. <laughs> it works. It's a freebie. <laughs> it was a freebie. Alrighty. Skills, let's look into that. Huh? Let's just up everything that I have. Um, mm. I, see, I know I don't have enough. Um, hmm. Awareness, I guess I can do without. Uh, computer use, I guess, is good for right now. And I'll put that into Persuade for now. Uh, when I get more points, I'm going to be putting them mainly into computer use. I think with Awareness, I'm good with Awareness right now. I don't think I need to put my Awareness any higher. I think. I might change my mind on that. <laughs> All right, feats. Okay, so we're good thus far on almost everything I currently have. Um, I do have toughness. I do have two-weapon fighting. I guess if I had to put it into anything, I'm not going to be putting it into melee. Uh, adding the bonus to attack weapons. I'm not going to do that. As it stands... I think I'll just make myself a little more versatile in a fight. Hmm. Adds a plus five damage to the next attack, but also a negative three to hit. Uh, used to quickly dispatch groups of easy to hit opponents. All right. Um, doubles the critical threat range of melee attacks. And lowers defense by five. Yeesh. But to be fair, Flurry suffers negative four to defense, and then that lasts for three seconds after using the feat. This just lowers the defense when used. After it's used, it's done. Hmm. Huh. Then again, as I slowly upgrade the things, huh. It still does negative five when used. Huh. But, it increases the range even further. Uh, it triples it and then quadruples it. Huh. Alright. Okay. Okay, alright. I'll go with that. And then I know with Flurry... The, uh, <laughs> the detriments to using Flurry become less and less as you upgrade it. As you can see there, while I'm doing all of this, it goes to negative 2 instead of negative 4. And then negative 1 instead of negative 4. <laughs> and uh, apparently it also lowers the attack ability uh, which is essentially ability to hit which is not great <laughs> not great in the long run but at least this doesn't get rid of the ability to hit it just lowers the defense and it only does it for a couple seconds 
as opposed to this, who does it for a significant number of seconds. So, I mean, I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Alrighty. Well, with that done, and me helping that guy, I guess I can go in here. Medical facility, huh? Huh. Another Can't gurney. You see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Alrighty, I guess I go talk with Zelka. Piss ant. Alright. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Yep. Still, you're welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Yeah, that Do would probably not be a good medical thing. supplies. I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Mm, okay, what's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Oh, oh yeah, those things. The Undercity breeds the it's disease, a disease, and those huh? infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, oh. becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. So that's like... <laughs> so that's lycanthropy, really. Kind of, more or less. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Is there no cure? There is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. Oh, they overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are of keeping course. all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If yeah. I could just get my hands that on a sucks. sample of that serum, the rat ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Yeah, that's... That... Mm, that sucks. That sucks that they just com completely ruined the ability to get rid of it. This is, this is literally the sort of thing that vaccinations were made for. <laughs> ah, man. Shit. Maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum for you. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. That's I probably the true. The in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them. Mm. They haven't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt That's a patrol true. would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. That's what you think. I might be that stupid. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see if we can just pick it up off of someone's body that already died from something else. Anyway, don't worry, Zelka. I'll get that serum for Please you. Please don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. Oh, yeah, that's a good down. point. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, okay. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, then, I'll consider possibly bringing you the serum should I just find it on the ground somewhere that is not in some Sith's pocket, maybe. Sounds better, right? Just a little? No? Okay. Fuck me. Anyway, uh, let me take a look at what you've got for sale. Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. That's fair. You have advanced med packs. That's a good thing to be having. Also, you have implants that I can put into my head, which is always good. Uh, that requires implant level 3, which I don't have yet. Nerve enhancement package, which I don't have yet um hmm. alrighty well then uh, med packs are infinite and I can just those are 40 that's not too bad considering the advanced med pack is 80 that's not too bad at all cool welcome back are you in need of healing or medical supplies I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition yep that we've already talked about that uh I can't really ask him about what this place is, because I already know. I want to ask you some other questions. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the Sith? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. Yeah. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. 
I guess there's mm. not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. Here's hoping. <laughs> Here's hoping. Uh, I want to ask you something else. I am else. quite busy maintaining the facility. Well, I mean, I can still ask you questions. Uh, do you know anything about the Republic escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? Republic escape pods? I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. Uh, if you know something... Oh, that's fucked up. Um, you seem awfully defensive about this. I'm not defensive. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Don't worry, I'm not with the Sith. I won't betray your secret if you tell me. The Sith were already here, asking these same questions. I'll tell you what I told them. I don't know anything about those pods. Now, is there something else you need? Uh, okay. Well, already. Well, then. Goodbye, and good health to you. Alrighty, well, what? um, Karth, I'm gonna need you for a little thing. On it. It's open. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. Yeah, about the <laughs> about that. Hey, I recognize these men. They're Republic soldiers. You recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless unless you're a friend of the Republic. Absolutely. I'm a friend of the Republic. You can trust me. I uh I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Yeah, here's Since the space battle overhead. People have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their That's injuries fair. are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here they are hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that you That's have my fair. thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. That's I hate to imagine good. what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Yeah, a little. Might be a little. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. All right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Alrighty. Light side points, even though I just did some breaking and entering with Karth. But hey! Look! It's my buddies! Woo! Well, I can't use them as, uh, party members because, uh, most of them are gonna die, but hey. You there? Wait yeah. A minute. Okay. I need to I'm talk waiting. To you about the rat ghoul serum? I've got an offer for you. You might want to hear. Okay. An offer? What are you talking about? Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rat ghoul serum. Okay. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can, if you can get the cure. Um. If I remember correctly, someone dropped that he was a local crime boss, but who is that oh, exactly? On. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's no. He's a big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taros. Okay, so crime boss. Okay. You mean Davik's a crime lord? I prefer to think of him as a role model. Uh-huh. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women... It's the Teresian dream, right? Oh, this... Oh, my God. Uh, treating women as objects, of course. Why am I not surprised that criminals are pulling this sort of shit? Okay. Alrighty. Um, why does he want the cure so badly? That he's willing to pay ten times what he will give me. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. Okay. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. That's a good thing, though. That's a terrible disease from the sound of it. If it mutates you into one of them? Yeah, absolutely. Why do you care who gets the cure? Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. You are the worst kind of person. You are the absolutely worst kind of person. So what if I tell Zelka you're helping Davik get the cure? Hm. I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Me! Be smart about this. 
Be smart about this. You're selling to Davik. That is the most scum lord fucking statement. Now be smart about this. The moment you hear that come out of some motherfucker's mouth, you know something is on the shady side. You do not want to be anywhere near that motherfucker. S fuck you, guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, 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 fuck you. You can't see me flipping him off, but I am. <laughs> on the screen, I'm flipping him off both screens. <laughs> both the recording screen and my TV screen, I'm flipping him off both. Alright. Uh, I think I'd rather give the serum to Selka. He'll use it to help people. Helping people is all well and good. But you have to help yourself first, right? You I'm can you, fuck right Davik off. will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. How about you fuck right off and I'm gonna ignore that info immediately. You can go... Suck my ass. Alrighty, I'm uh, not entirely sure where the uh, cutoff point for the last attempted recording is, but uh, you might notice that I jump cut to here, which is me on the light side. Woo, I'm a good guy. Um, <laughs> the problem seemed to be uh, this time with the recording software shitting the bed was that Microsoft Store was acting up and uh, caused the disk space to be eaten up uh, quite a bit. Why Microsoft Store decides to just act up out of nowhere, I have no idea. Especially since I haven't opened that thing in fucking forever. So, uh, that's a little annoying. Uh, I'm hoping I can get a new computer soon. So, that sort of thing stopped happening. And, uh, yeah. I'm not entirely sure where... The cutoff point for uh, the last recording is that I'll have to cut off. But uh, I made it into Upper City North. Uh, we were apparently in Upper City South the whole time. And uh, we were very angrily telling off uh, Gurney that uh, we're not going to sell the serum to Davik. And sneezing time. One moment. Sorry about that. I heard sneezing on the other end of the house. I guess that was a sympathy sneeze. Anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, there was some yelling at Gurney for being a scumbag. And, uh, yeah. Then we made it to the north side. And then I don't know where the cutoff point is. So I'm hoping that covers everything. If not, then... Fuck. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just going to end the episode here for right now uh, because, well, we were pretty much at the limit for the time anyway. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and... Well, exploring the upper city a little bit and, uh, uh, well, <laughs> checked out the shop and talked to our medical guy. Well, Terrace's medical guy, who's a good guy trying to, you know, do better for the Terrace people, for you.